The Bible talks about old paths, ancient paths, chapter 18 of Jeremiah and chapter 6, where Psalm says, you've showed me the path of life. And what we're looking at here is tracks. Uh, some could be dog, could be wolf. I don't see human tracks here, so it's pretty interesting. And if you look this way, it leads some type of path. And then there's a motorcycle that's gone by here. That's evident there must be a way out. But we look at this wonderful world. Here's a kind of a still pond and we're looking at the winds that blow and these are sand dunes really that have drifted here. And in the spring, this will all be underwater. But in the meantime, we're looking at incredible beauty. But God leads us down paths. The old path and the ancient path are before us as believers. And he says, you show us the path of life. And a lot of people aren't going down that road. He says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. We need the paths of God. And they're not followed today by a lot of people. It would seem like we're forsaking the ancient ways and we're going down roads that lead to destruction. The Bible talks about this. Our challenge is that we'll run the good run of faith, that we'll fight the good fight, that we'll find the old paths, the ancient paths that Jeremiah said, because we're headed for this incredible place in the world where God is going to say, you're weighed in the balance and found wanting. You can't mock God. You can't make light of his ways. Here we are looking in this bush. There's another trail this way and more tracks. The other day I ran into huge bear tracks. I don't see the little guy, or he's not a little guy, he's a big guy out anymore. I think he went to sleep finally. But look, look and see, behold, I am God and there is none other. I am God and there is none like me. I turn wise men backwards and he's crying out to his people, turn, turn to the Lord in these end times. Seek him, seek ye me as Zephaniah says, all ye meek. Uh, Jesus said, ask and seek and knock and there's gonna be doors that are gonna be opened, but we've got to be his people. Don't get sucked into loving the world. The Bible says, love not the world. Don't get entangled with the thorns. That which bears thorns uh, is nigh unto cursing, Hebrews says. Uh, and the cares of this world uh, are thorns uh, that can trap us, according to Matthew 13. But look, keep your path straight, as our beloved John cried out from his wilderness, make a straight path, turn to the living God all ye people and remember there's a path look for it you'll find it i've seen these paths this is marred by motorcycles but i've seen paths where there's nothing but tracks of animals and deer and sometimes uh, these are the ways that you and i have to go by following the word of god